September 22, 1998, some 700 troops from the South African National Defense Force storm into the tiny independent neighbor, the Zoto. The very next day, Nelson Mandela was in Washington receiving a Congressional Gold Medal. This was four years into his presidency. The official reason for the invasion of Lesotho was to quell the unrest over a contested election which was causing mass riots in the streets of Maseru, Lesotho's capital. Perhaps because Mandela was quite aware of his great peacemaker title, he let his subordinate, Mongosutu Butelezi, carry out the attack as he was named the acting president during Mandela's absence. What stands out about this military action was that before South African troops ever reached Maseru, the state's primary target of the attack, they had already secured and wiped out the garrison that was protecting the Katse Dam. There, 16 Lesotho soldiers were killed as the South African military rushed in with attack helicopters and their special forces. Once control was established and the dam firmly under control, they could proceed to Maseru. The attack was successful in reinstating the status quo and quelling the protest. The total reported death toll between 113 and 134 people. At the time, the perception of the attack by the local population was that South African troops were there to make sure to reinstate the puppet government of Lesotho which had won the recent election under dubious conditions. If South Africa was meddling in the elections, would it really have sent its troops? And then consider that South Africa did not have international permission for its actions, as it never asked permission from the UN or the South African Development Community. It doesn't sound like something a winner of a Nobel Peace Prize would approve of. But of course he did. So. What was the real reason for the invasion? It was to secure one of the most vital resources known to humanity. This is Malibamazo River. It is a part of an $8 billion joint water project between South Africa and Lesotho, called the Lesotho Highlands Water Project. The Katse Dam was the first of a number of dams designed to deliver 2.2 billion cubic meters of water annually to Pretoria, Johannesburg, and Vereening. When the unrest in the capital started and the regime in Lesotho was under threat, it meant uncertainty for this major investment and the lifeblood of South Africa's major industrial regions. As Lawrence C. Smith points out in his book, Rivers of Power, no president, not even Nelson Mandela, can defy the paramount importance of water security when weighing the well-being and national interests of his or her country. The mountain range of Malotti Drakensberg in Lesotho Highlands is essentially the water tower of South Africa. Without the water coming from Lesotho, it is likely that a large part of South Africa would be in a permanent state of drought similar to or worse than Cape Town, which in 2019 was declared to be in danger of being the first major city in the world to run out of water. South Africa's water problems were apparent in 1998 and they are most apparent now, as its citizens have some of the worst water availability in the world. As things currently stand, South Africa is estimated to need 17.7 billion cubic meters of water by 2030, which is beyond the amount that can be safely allocated, even with Lesotho's water supply. With this knowledge in mind, it is safe to say we can understand the reasoning behind Mandela's approval to invade Lesotho. He wasn't doing it to stop an uprising, he was doing it to secure the future of South Africa. Lesotho is a critical location, in the sense that it controls the water supply of many people. Its importance is similar to that of Ethiopian highlands, the European Alps, the Tian Shan mountain ranges in China the Taurus and Zagros Mountains in the Middle East, or the American Rockies, or even the biggest one of all, the Tibetan Plateau and the Himalayan Range. Lawrence Smith further writes, this arresting asymmetry between where river water is produced 
and where it is consumed, has enormous power implications for political states. A country that controls a water tower, or the rivers emanating from it, wields a potentially existential threat over its downstream neighbors. Hey, thanks for watching. So yeah, just in case anybody missed the point, I'm not saying anything bad about Nelson Mandela's presidency or what he did. I'm just pointing out the geopolitical reasons that can cause somebody to do um, surprising, daring, or even bold things, right? And like in the grand scheme of things, obviously the invasion of the Zoto wasn't even that grand or bold or well surprising given the reasons. So this video was inspired by Rivers of Power. It's a pretty good read. I'm guessing I might have more videos coming out of, based on this book. Um, I think you should pick it up. Anyway, leave a comment to let me know what you thought about this video. If you learned anything, that would totally make my day. Also, try to guess where this location is. Geoperspective out. <laughs>